Joy comes when you make the choice to trust God, to believe Him, to believe what He says about His Son in the Bible, to believe that He is the Son of God, to believe that He can save you, that He can forgive you of your sins. And that's what Jesus wants in our life. He wants us all to live with joy. John chapter 15, verse 11, Jesus said, I have told you this so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your cup of joy will what? Overflow. Circle filled with joy, and joy will overflow. Look up here. Where's your joy in your life right now? Is your cup kind of like a quarter of the way filled? Is your cup halfway filled, three quarters of the way filled? Is your cup filled all the way? Where is the joy in your life right now? How much joy do you have in your life? You see, Jesus said, I don't want you to just experience a little bit of joy. I want you to be filled with joy to overflowing. Do you understand that? to where your joy is overflowing. And I want to illustrate that for you this morning. So today what I brought with me are a couple of containers. And the first container I want you to think about is this one. It represents us. All right? And notice there's nothing in the container. It's empty. And really that's the way it feels when you don't have any joy. You feel empty. You really do. You feel like, what's life worth? You know, it's like worth nothing. Why am I even here? I feel empty. And so this is us without any joy. And so what we do is we go through life trying to find ways to fill ourselves with joy. And one of the ways we do this, especially at Christmas time, is we look for stuff. Oh, there's a sale at the store. I got to buy that stuff. So I can put all that stuff in my house. So I can have my garage filled with stuff. And then maybe that stuff will make me really, really uh, joyful, you know. And so we put it in our life. We get it all and we put it in our life. And nothing happens. Because the truth of the matter is that stuff is not going to fill you with joy. You understand that? That's, that's what the Bible teaches. So we don't get it right away, so we think, okay, well, what I'll do since stuff isn't working for me, I'll just go to work, and I'll work my guts out really, really hard and try to make lots of money because that's what we do to try to pay for all the stuff. <laughs> Amen? Remember I told you a couple of weeks ago, what are the Christmas colors? Red and green. You know, we start off in the green, we end up in the red, you know? <laughs> That's what happens. We end up in the red. So we go to work. We work really hard. We, we think that, oh, man, if I just work, 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 make lots of money, and I buy all this stuff, get at, and I put it in my life. But what happens? Nothing. So we think, well, maybe what I need to have some real joy in my life is I need to go out and I need to travel. I need to go someplace, you know? Like, I need to go on a vacation. I haven't been on a trip in a real long time, so I'm going to go and I'm going to travel and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some real joy in my life because I've been out and I'm, maybe I'll even go to the beach, I'll go to the mountains. Hey, I'll even go to Disneyland because Disney, it, what is that? That's happiest place on earth. Maybe I'll find some joy there. So I go out and I travel and I do all that and I put that in my life, but nothing happens. Why is it that nothing happens? Because none of that stuff is designed to give us joy. And so what God says, if you want joy, you have to have a relationship with my son, Jesus Christ. And when you have a relationship with my son, Jesus, and you accept him into your life, then you will be filled with joy and it will overflow in your life. Because he's the only one that's able to give us the joy that we're looking for in our lives.